case rates did jump up a bit across the state, particularly in southeast Michigan. It comes as high profile politicians from President Joe Biden and now Michigan's governor, Gretchen Whitmer, are confronted with a recent COVID diagnosis. I don't see an end to this anytime soon. I think we're going to still see new variants coming down the road. And possibly more breakthrough infection cases like President Biden and Governor Whitmer, who are both vaccinated and boosted, but still got the virus. The president has since recovered, but he and Governor Whitmer have reported mild symptoms. The good news is, though, even though there's more cases, hospitalizations are not really up very much. We have the vaccines out there. We also have two pills you can take. They're antivirals that help treat COVID in high risk people. And we also have the monoclonal antibodies. But doctors want to remind people that there are still things you can do to reduce the risk of getting COVID. Hand washing is always good. If you want to wear a mask, you absolutely can. They do work. As many school doors open in just a few weeks, Dr. Dennis Cunningham makes this clear. If you're sick or if your children are sick, don't send them to school. Don't go to work. The last thing we need are sick people spreading this around. As the fight against COVID continues, business owners say they're doing their part to keep the numbers down and keep patrons safe. Well, to keep patrons safe, we always wear gloves. We always wear masks. Um, we also keep our sanitizing spray bottles around. So everywhere cause someone sits down and gets back up, we spray it down. Doctors believe updated COVID booster shots, which could be available as early as September, will also have a major impact and reducing the infection rate. They're designed to work better against Omicron. Uh, the original vaccines were made for different variants. They still work, but these newer boosters have the potential to be even better. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.